Fiji is the most important country within the Pacific Island countries. Right now it is the country with the highest number of people living, some 900,000. However, in a couple of years, it is expected that the Solomon Islands will overtake Fiji, what the population number is concerned. Fiji has an economy that is rather diverse compared to other Pacific Island countries, but if we compare Fiji's economy to many places elsewhere outside the Pacific Island, it is still very much figured into a huge subsistence economy in agriculture, a bit of commercial agriculture, a little bit of manufacturing, industrialized sector and the rest then would be in the service sectors. The majority of people and also the important economic activities are on Vitilevu, the main island. Then second would be Vanua Levu, where we are right now. Then there are a few other middle-sized islands and the rest actually are smaller islands. All in all, 100 of the 300 islands of Fiji are inhabited and in some areas population sizes are really tiny, especially when we go to the islands in the periphery of Fiji. To the east, that would be the Lao Island group, and to the west, the tourist islands, Mananudas and Yasavas. There, of course, tourism over the last couple of decades played an increasing importance. I never really felt like I was disconnected from anyone or any of my family or friends growing up and even now um, even though there's all these like, say 300 or so islands in Fiji and many of my family don't live on Vitilevu, they are scattered around the country. I've never felt disconnected from any of them. Like distance isn't really a thing in the Pacific from my experience because even though families and friends would be separated for periods of time, as soon as they get together, nothing's changed. Like it's, just, it's like we just saw them yesterday pretty much. Back in my young days, uh, the way we get around is, uh, we have cars then, but still not much as now. So most of the time we, we would walk from place to place. Transportation um, is an issue as well. So even today, uh, even for the outer people in the outer islands, sometimes maybe the boat will go once a month to the island. Pacific uh, has been uh, in service in Fiji for the past 26 years and uh, we have uh, centers right around Fiji uh, in all the major hospitals in Fiji. Uh, we also have a center in the Solomon Islands and uh, also in Vanuatu. 
for the uh, people in the urban area, they access our service easily. Uh, but the ones uh, out in the maritime or outside of the urban area, they, um, they hardly do um, access the service that we have. So, but as they get uh, hit by a cyclone or um, yeah, any disaster, um, they do need that support. Uh, a lot of times we think uh, that they would be okay, but really once we get down to listen to, to what they go through, uh, they, um, they need that support, they need that help. A place like Fiji with 300 islands, like I mentioned earlier, and hundreds of them are inhabited, raises the question, how do people travel in this part of the world? And obviously, they need to bridge the relatively small distances of water. Traditionally, they did this by canoes, and with their canoes, they could bridge enormous distances. An example in the middle of the 19th century, the King of Tongan on his way to Sydney in Australia uh, made a visit to Fiji and all was done by canoes. Today people use, like we today, uh, big ships usually bought second-hand from Europe or from Asian countries. A faster way, but not so much suitable for long distances, are fiberglass boats. That means small, relatively small boats with engines. And those who can afford, they of course fly. We could cover the distance from Suva to Savu Savu by plane, say in half an hour. and with the boat, we are for around 12 hours on the way. As a musician, I do travel quite a bit. Um, mainly it's around Vitilevu, but Every now and then it's a trip up north out here uh, and I feel because of my experience with music I have this ability to connect with people through music. Um, we're using the guitar as a tool to sort of join a group of people and without even having a conversation just start playing some chords and all of a sudden we're all singing together and then that's the start of a uh, short-term friendship just for the boat ride, I guess. I've always felt like the number of times I've caught this boat, um, that there's this, this bond between the passengers. Almost like everybody knows that we're all stuck in this boat for the next 16 hours. We might as well get along and we'll make some small talk and, I don't know, maybe make some good friends along the way. Even though, as, as you say, the distance may be far, but uh, having that uh, closeness with someone is more of... For me, I look at closeness as something like how you share your... Uh, yourself or your emotions with each other and that would bring about the closeness uh, so that that is uh, that is something that uh, uh, very important in life is to keep that connection have that closeness uh, because that that is how uh, we can uh, 
uh, get encouraged and be positive to be able to move on when we know we have that closeness with uh, someone or with uh, others. So in my work, uh, that is some areas that I would try and explore to find out what are some or who are some uh, people that they can find or know that they can get themselves close with or whatever they're feeling unattached uh, from to be able to get that attachment or connection back. In Fiji, closeness and we experienced it ourselves certainly has to do with distance. It's an effort to meet other people who live in another island or to bring goods from here to there. But in its real sense, closeness is more than that. One wouldn't want to meet other people living far away if there wouldn't be another driver and the driver is closeness in an emotional sense, closeness feeling connected to others and also in an economic sense, social and economic sense. feel that family embodies closeness and for me that's a form of closeness that you don't have to work for, in the, well, from my experience at least, you're born into that connection and you keep that connection for your entire life, whereas say for example with friends and with uh, workmates and with whatever other connection you have in your life you have to build up that trust to get to that closeness. Hearing the word closeness, I, I see that uh, being close is having that connection with someone, that would how I would say it. Uh, having that connection with emotions, that closeness. Like with the work that I do, them inviting me into their world, as I say, inviting me into their world is like bringing that closeness of myself with them. And we're able to walk together, so we're able to see um, a lot of things together and they're able to be encouraged and empowered to to see what they have in them once we have that closeness. <laughs>